If you watched my previous video, you realise I've got a bit of a problem. You see, I'm at Heathrow Airport to see Noel Phillips. Um, he's getting, having a get-together with his YouTube family. And after this get-together, I'm meant to be flying up to Manchester to see the Foo Fighters. Unfortunately, I haven't brought my photo ID with me, so I may not be able to get on the flight. So I decided to go across to the airport in the morning. The flight wasn't until the afternoon. And uh, have a word with the lovely people at British Airways to see if they could help me out. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you too. Right, welcome to Terminal 5. The thing is, will I be coming back here later on for my flight? Let's go and find out. I was feeling pretty nervous at this point, but I was really annoyed with myself because I've done so much travelling over the years, mainly for work, and um, I'm normally very organised, so to, to not brought my photo ID with me was a huge error on my part. It's actually the first time I've walked into Terminal 5. I've been here a lot of times before, but it's normally been on flights coming in here and then connecting elsewhere, so it's a first for me. Now, you would have thought there would be a dedicated customer service desk in Terminal 5. Well, maybe there is, but I couldn't find it, so instead I headed over to uh, one of the check-in desks and uh, asked somebody there what I should do. Right. Need to find customer services. Good news guys, I've been authorised. What a relief that is. British Airways customer service is the best. Thank you so much. British Airways get a bad rap sometimes, but you've just saved my bacon there. Talking of bacon, let's get some breakfast. <laughs> The price of the hotel room didn't actually include breakfast, so I probably saved a few quid by uh, getting breakfast over here. <laughs> no nonsense, straight to it. Thanks a lot, my friend. Cheers. Oh, I can't tell you how relieved I am. So, I've got myself a coffee and a little bagel, and uh, this is what the check-in agent gave me. Um, it's, it's, it's printed on the, on the boarding pass. It says, photo ID on phone, okay, authorised by Patricio. So whoever Patricio is, if you're ever watching this, thank you so much, you've saved my bacon. So, and then a little bonus, I'm at the airport before I go over to see Noel, and uh, that's my view. It's not a little bad view for my breakfast. Oh. Right, breakfast. So, I had my breakfast and a nice bit of plane spotting to boot. Right, so we're uh, going to get a, an Uber or a bus or something over to the Hyatt and uh, join all the Noel Phillips shenanigans. Can't tell you how relieved I am. I thought I was going to have to get a train over to Manchester, but uh, yeah, I'm just so relieved because it would have been more expense as well, which I could do without. So, uh, yeah, very, very relieved. I just hope they accept what it says on the boarding pass that they should do. Somebody's obviously spoken to them. I made a little friend, he seems to be following me. Yes, an automated uh, floor cleaner was uh, going up and down the, the terminal. Great idea. So, oh, taxi to Hyatt Place Hotel. What a morning I've had already. <laughs> oh, talk about stress, but it's my own fault. Should have. Uh, should have planned a bit better. I'm normally pretty good when it comes to planning, but for some reason, I'll tell you the reason. I um, I always, always, always used to travel with my wallet, and it's the first thing I'd check with, even before I've got my car keys. But with everything being on my phone these days, like paying for stuff, I don't really travel with my wallet anymore, so it kind of gone out of my head. And that's the reason I didn't bring the driving license, because you just take it for granted. Anyway, lesson learned. Um, but wouldn't you think in this day and age, they would accept electronic ID 
everything else is digital these days, so why not a driving license? Anyway, it is what it is, but uh, I got sorted. I, I, can't, I keep saying I can't tell you how relieved I am because that would have been uh, a bit of a disaster having to pay more for a train to get up to Manchester. Anyway, I'm going to relax now, go and have some fun, see Noel Phillips. Bag nearly fell over. I've arrived at the Hyatt and here's Sam and Jordan, right here. <laughs> and who else is here? Your name? Catherine. Catherine. Sorry, I'm useless. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it, yay! We're going in! Awesome. Hello. Hi. Dave Sturdy. Dave Sturdy. Yes. I think I'm a VIP. Beautiful. Thank you very much. This is really cool. Thank you. Well, we've, we've, I'll explain in a minute, but we really have. We've, Mum and I have been here since Thursday sorting this lot out. Oh, well done, Mum. No, no rocked in yesterday with, with one case, and there's us like dragging five through the airport. Yeah. Going, That's great. So you're like, the, you're like the road crew. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah we just never get the acknowledgement, do we? I'll tell you something. I'll give you a shout out on a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, big thank you to Rachel and her mum and everybody else that helped put this thing together. Bloody hell, what a spread. <laughs> Wasn't expecting this. Wow, look at that. I've got a goodie bag. And look at all this, tea and coffee. Wow, look at that. That's fat. fruit, that's far too healthy. Yeah. We can't be having that. Where's the bar? <laughs> look at that. Awesome. There's plenty of vodka. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There's Noel Phillips. <laughs> it's Noel Phillips. <laughs> Merch and everything. Look at all that. Wow. Noel Phillips socks. The pinnacle. We have to get the no, yeah. Dave Sturdy. Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you, you finally. You yeah. Too. How are you? Oh, hi, Catherine. Lovely to meet you. Do you mind being on YouTube? Yeah, I don't mind being on YouTube. <laughs> Jolly good. <laughs> this is Noel Phillips, everybody. That's why we're here. <laughs> I'll turn it off now. Because uh, fish strike is a very uh, very disreputable place as well. Um, I think if you suck went to Arsenal, yeah. we're here. Yeah. Ready to go. Yeah, it's, um, so we're ready at rock and roll at the Noel Phillips get together. There's quite a few people here as well. It's pretty good. Pretty good turnout. <laughs> Morning. How are you all doing? Thank you. Sorry for the quick delay there. Um, we, we've sorted out the merch stuff, so we'll have a, a work around for that, so that should be working. Anyway, thank you, first of all, for coming. Um, it's lunchtime at the Noel Phillips gathering. Yeah, Look what I've got. <laughs> Very healthy, as you can see. Very healthy. Lovely. Any ob anybody object to being filmed? No problem. These are my... Say hello, everybody. Bon appetit. Well, I'm just leaving the Noel Phillips thing. Thing. Just leaving Noel Phillips. Fantastic show, what did you call it? And uh, heading over to Terminal 5 to get our flight up to Manchester to see the many Foo Fighters. Let's go. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You take care too. Bye. All right, back at Heathrow, and the stress levels are a little bit lower than uh, they were this morning. But um, I relax fully once I'm through security and on the blooming plane, to be quite honest. Here we go. So walking back into Terminal 5 for the second time in one day, how bizarre.
should just be a case of going straight through to security and then departures, hopefully. Going into Terminal 5 twice in a day. Who does that? Yeah, me. through security and you may remember that place there from a previous video. Gordon Ramsay's place, plain food. Highly recommend it if you're ever going through Heathrow Terminal 5. Really good food. A bit pricey obviously but nice uh, nice uh, restaurant. Now the plan is to find the lounge. I found the lounge pretty easy. There's actually one at each end of the terminal and both of them had huge queues. Um, at them, so um, at the second one, one of the staff came out and she was offering £10 vouchers for you to well, go away basically. So I took a voucher from somewhere else, I was sitting waiting to have, uh, have a drink. Then I got an alert on my phone telling me that my flight was delayed by an hour, which wasn't ideal because obviously I was uh, wanting to get up to Manchester to see the Foo Fighters. Why would you? I'm going to get a sandwich from Smith's. Double weight Smith's, that is. <coughs> Alright, so I just decided to come to this bar where there's a queue outside for and uh, just used my voucher and got myself a little beer, so. Time, but I've never seen Heathrow this busy ever. It's just absolutely rammed. There are queues for literally everything, including the toilets, e even the gents. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to hang out here for a little bit. And uh, they haven't even announced my gate yet. So, I guess that's because of the delay. So, I'll just sit here and wait, I suppose. At least the Foo Fighters aren't on stage until 7 30. So, should have enough time to get there. Hopefully. Wish me luck. And about half an hour later, they finally announced the gate, so it was time to head over there and jump on the plane up to Manchester. Review. Look at the livery on that thing. That is absolutely mega. Okay. This is uh, business class. menu consisted of afternoon tea um, not seen that before on the flight but there you go it is business class after all but the flight was delayed even more and we sat on the on the uh, stand for about another f probably half an hour and they didn't even give us a drink disappointing British Airways there was actually a pretty hefty storm as you can see just passing over there that's the reason why they said we were delayed but uh, yeah soon on our way and uh, heading up to Manchester well, nearly two hours late, finally going to take off. <laughs> what a day. <laughs>
in this evening. So the seatbelt sign is based down for longer than normal. So please do keep your seatbelt securely fastened. This is for your safety and the safety of the cabin crew on board. Well, shortly after takeoff, my afternoon tea arrived, and it was a, a delicate affair, but um, yeah, quite pretty, and it tasted all right. But it wasn't very much of it. I was quite hungry. Well, in my mind, if you're on a British Airway flight, you've got to have the old uh, brew dog. Speedbird, which is a lovely beer, and uh, my scone had arrived. I said, Scone or scone? What do you say, scone or scone? Scone for me. And you put the cream on first or the jam on first? End of the dilemma. It was a pretty uneventful flight, and in no time we found ourselves heading down into the area of Manchester over the Cheshire area. And uh, I didn't have time to do a loo review. Noel Phillips would not be happy with me for not doing a loo review, but there you go. Um, I'll leave the loo reviews to Noel. first couple of songs but never mind these things happen so uh, I'm gonna try and find an uber ASAP and get myself across to my digs dump me back and get across to the stadium for the show it wasn't just me in a rush seemingly it looks like everyone was off to see the Foo Fires today but uh, I'm guessing they just probably had connections to get something like that, but uh, maybe they were after the gig as well. I don't know. Shout out to Francesca and Simon, lovely couple I met at the bar before we uh, boarded the flight. If you're watching this, guys, great to meet you. <coughs> I eventually found myself a taxi and headed straight across to my Airbnb at Trafford. Demetrius at the Airbnb, I got to the venue just as the band were coming on stage. I could not have timed it any better. Mm -hmm. 